looking at a thousand dollars that want to give a teacher raises, a thousand dollars across the board. That's fine. I think teachers do, they deserve that money, but they're not going to give us any state money to do this. They're just going to say you find it, you know, and that's what it is. So if, say like a Stockdale, we're giving an extra. I don't know. I can't offhand. I can't tell you what we're actually giving above state base because our tech teachers, uh, our uh, steps are different than just getting fifty five thousand. 5500 But the thing is, you got some districts say, well, we're going to get $5,000 over state. Well, if you mandate the state's, going to, the state's mandating, you're going to get a $1,000 raise. A lot of school districts, well, I can't afford that, so instead of giving a $5,000 stipend, we might cut it to 4000 But then all of a sudden, the state says, no, you can't cut anything that you've already cut. So they're going to have to find out, if you got, say, 40 teachers, you're going to have to come up with $40,000 somewhere that they're not giving you. So, that's... You want to add to it? Yeah, that's... I mean, that hasn't passed so, yet, so many, but they're looking at it. So many districts have gotten away from the conversation of teacher pay scale plus a certain stipend for that very reason. A, a lot of districts, I know Welder, um, I, I spearheaded this exact situation to avoid this concern, but to implement a teacher hiring guide, and it gives the district the flexibility of we're no longer tied to the state base in any way. It is just above state base, and we, we present the teacher hiring guide as is, and it, and it sort of limits and, and protects the district from if the legislature were to say X, X thousand dollars across the board. Yeah. And so by, by, by migrating to that, that type of model, it helps insulate the district and, in my opinion, protect the district from you know, that, that type of control from the legislature.